Hi, my friends. It's Alice Murray with Mermaid Designs. Welcome to day 51 of 365 days of sewing makes. I can't actually believe I've made it this far. Thank you so much for coming along on this journey, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and all that you do to keep me going here. Thank you so much. Today, I want to show you something kind of cute. You've seen this before. This is Quick Sew 4220. The pattern has a vest, pants, cowl neck, kind of, uh, I don't know what you call that, trapeze, sweater. Show you the line drawings. The vest has princess seams. Pockets, seam down the middle. And you've seen this on day nine with a pink hoodie. You've seen it on day, I think it was 23 with a brown fuzzy jacket. And today you're seeing it with a blue, I call this a military style jacket. Very pretty, um, I call it a jewel blue, a very pretty blue. And you'll see it is not a vest. I have never made this as a vest. Uh, I made this one a little bit shorter because that's how long of a zipper I had. So I made it a little bit shorter. It's got the pockets that uh, fasten into the zipper, fasten into the hem. Very easy pockets to put on. Put a curved hem. And I put the stand up collar as per the pattern this time. The last two times you'll remember I put a hood and a, and a, and a collar. But once I put it together, I thought it looked kind of bland. So I added these fake pockets and I put a gold button on them and I added kind of fake should be on this arm fake uh, cuffs with a button on them and I made it out of I call it a novelty uh, fleece. It's actually a fleece. Quite a short fleece. It's kind of cut in a pattern. And I bought this at Fabricland, not in the bargain bin, but uh, it was on sale. It was $10 a meter and I bought one meter. So this is a marvelous one meter. It was 60 inches wide, so I was able to get sleeves out of it. But probably not a collar. Probably another reason it's short. So I think that, well, I already knew. I already knew that Quick Sew 4220 is a winner. Like you can have hundreds of patterns, or you can have a few that you just really like and use them over and over again. I've kind of done both. I've got a lot of patterns and I have a few that I reach for over and over again and it's good it's very good to uh, you know have as a goal to make every pattern um, three times at least because you learn something every time and that actually does really improve your sewing if you make the, the same pattern over and over again because you're bound to make it better the second and third third time and just being creative and adding different elements to a pattern, that, that's also, that is a great way to learn. So, uh, I like this little jacket. I uh, remember when I wore it out to an event, there was another lady there and she had a very similar jacket. Hers was a, a ready to wear jacket, uh, but it was kind of a military style. It was the same jewel blue, uh, so they weren't, they were definitely not identical, but uh, they were similar and, and uh, we laughed about being on the, 
on the same team. So I'm grateful for humor. That's what I'm grateful for today. And I hope that you are sewing because sewing is so much fun. Till next time.